end went Antiphon, in the midst of the church, he opened his mouth. And the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. Our Holy Mass intention this morning for Pope Francis, all bishops and priests, for the sick and the dying and all those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the soul of Father Heinrich Montgomery, for the soul in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we come in the presence of Jesus, may the gift of his mercy and compassion renew our lives. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Cyril of Alexandria an invisible champion of the divine motherhood of the most blessed Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who believe she is truly the mother of God may be saved through the incarnation of Christ your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they sell the righteous for silver, and the needy for a pair of shoes, that they that trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth and turn aside the way of the afflicted. A man, <clears throat> a man and his father go in to the same maiden, so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar upon garments taken in pledge, and in the house of their God they drink the wine of those who have been who have been fined. Yet I destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and who was as strong as the oaks. I, I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Also, I brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you 40 years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. Behold, I will press you down in your place as a cart full of sheaves presses down. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not retain his strength, nor shall the mighty save his life. He who handles the bow shall not stand, and he who is swift of foot shall not save himself, nor shall he who rides the horse save his life. And he who is stout of heart among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. Mark this, you. How can you recite my commandments 
and take my covenant on your lips. You who despise correction and cast my words behind you. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. You who see a thief and befriend him, who throw in your lot with adulterers, who unbridle your mouth for evil and yoke your tongue to deceit, you who sit and malign your own brother and slander your own mother's son. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. You do this, and should I keep silence? Do you think that I am like you? I accuse you, lay the charge before you. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God, lest I seize you and none can deliver you. A sacrifice of praise gives me honor, and to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Today harden not your hearts, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time when Jesus saw great crowds around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side, and a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. The Gospel of the Lord. A rarity occurs in our gospel today where one of the scribe pledges to follow Jesus wherever he will go. But Jesus does not seem enthusiastic. That perhaps unfair, we may think, is probably more accurate to say that Jesus, one would be disciple, follower, to be aware of what the cost of discipleship entails. And Matthew places this episode shortly after the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount, including the parable of the builder who built his house on a rock foundation and is followed by various stories of Jesus healing people, has this scribe been listening to Jesus as well as watching him bring about cures? It is this what has led him to the man's desire to follow this teacher and healer. Of course, dear friends, we have no way of telling the scribe promises Jesus that he will follow him wherever he may go. But Jesus warns him that the Son of Man and his disciples do not even share the luxury of the foxes who have holes to hide in from danger and the birds who have the security of nest in the trees far above danger. Jesus 
enjoys none of that security and his disciple will fare no better. What is perhaps the underlining aspect of our gospel with us today that we come to realize that the following of Jesus is costly and that it will challenge us each day of our life to pledge oneself to follow him so that we are able to allow ourselves to experience the faithfulness of the love that Jesus had for all men, women who have made a choice, families who come together to allow God to be at the center of their lives. And it is Jesus then that makes it possible, my friends, for us to be called followers of him. And so we pray that we may be renewed in our following of Christ, that we may not give up, not lose heart, not become despondent or discouraged when we do, in moments of our journey, come to intersections. But we pray that we may always have the trust in the love of the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of Blessed Saint Cyril of Alexandria be pleasing to you, O God. For taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Cyril of Alexandria, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, 
Teach us by his words of preaching and keep us safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. And without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen and Sylvester, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Cyril of Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Through the words of our Savior, we're able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, that we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who renew us in following him. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ, the 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 body of Christ.
communion antiphon. Behold a faithful and prudent steward to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, and on the feast day of blessed Saint Cyril of Alexandria, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Dear friends, I wish you a load shedding day. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks.